Hey guys, it's Spammy Dia here once again, coming at you with another Naruto history video. Today I thought I'd talk about the origins of the tailed beast in the Jinchuriki, because it's such a massive part of the franchise. As early as we can go back, there's been an endless war amongst man. So a woman called Kaguya Utsutsuki ate fruit from the god tree in an attempt to grow her power and essentially cold war out all the fighting that's been happening around about her. She was actually very successful for a time, gaining the title Rabbit Goddess and settling down to enjoy her peace. She fell pregnant and gave birth to two sons, Haguroma and Harura, but as time passes, we all know that power corrupts and the faith that she once had in humans was lost. So she decided to trap all humanity in a genjutsu called the Infinite Taizu Kuyumi, which is kind of like getting stuck in a pea pod filled with LSD that makes all your dreams come true in your head, which sounds pretty good, but when you consider that you're just not living your life, it, it's not not that great guy. But this wasn't an instant thing, she didn't just capture all of humanity. The people that were left over, including her sons, stopped looking at her as the rabbit goddess and looked at her more as a demon because of what she was doing to people. So as people became more and more disgruntled, her sons decided to take action. They attempted to take her powers from her, but in a fit of rage she fused with the god tree that granted her her powers and became the first tailed beast, the ten-tailed beast. After massive damage was created by the tailed beasts, her sons decided that they had to do something. Luckily, they'd inherited some of her chakra powers and decided that the only way to stop her was actually trapping her within one of their bodies so she could do no harm. So Harura had to seal his own mother within his brother Hagoroma, making him history's first Jinchuriki, which gave him a massive chakra boost and it became the first and arguably the only Sage of the Six Paths, spreading peace amongst the people. Time passed and like all good men, his life was at an end. But he realised had to do something with the power of the Ten Beast, they couldn't just release it as is. So he decided to release the power, but in the form of Nine-Tailed Beasts. But these creatures would create an issue for years to come, but I suppose it's teeny weeny colossal sized bites of what the Ten-Tailed Beast was capable of. But wars were fought and time had passed, and man had actually forgotten what the tailed beasts actually were. Instead of looking upon them as sentient creatures, they started seeing them as demons or monsters or spirits, and that led to a misconception of those who weren't in the know. Some tailed beasts actually played along with this misconception. That's why some refer to the one-tailed beast as a sand spirit in the tuning exams. Now just like my last video, coming up to the structure of the five great nations and the one village, one nation rule, this is when shit got real. Due to the increase in the size of armies and the need for more power amongst the nations, this is when man actually tried to weaponize the tailed beasts. But due to the previously mentioned misconception, there wasn't actually a true uniform technique when trying to seal these creatures within people to harness their powers. Even though the Uzumaki clan clearly had it down, because these people had seen the nine tailed beasts as a separate creature from the one and the two and the three tailed beasts, they never actually thought to use the same sealing technique. This led to a lot of um, interesting sealing stories, like for example with Rin and the three tailed beast, thinking that they couldn't even control the Jinchuriki that held the beast. But this leads is up to the program. I really wanted to continue on with this video, but the information I was finding was either non canon or from fillers, and I really like to keep things like that separate. But if you want me to make a video on that, just let me know in the comments section. I'm always happy to hear from fans. And also, if you could hit that subscribe button and the like button, that'd really help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.